Well guys, I wanted to show you what the swine apple looked like, but I guess this isn't the right way to show it. I set it on the counter real quick to cool down. I come downstairs because I didn't hear the dogs for a little bit, and needless to say, Andy and Liberty decided that they wanted to have dinner. Apparently, I guess the swine apple tastes really good that even the two dogs couldn't resist. This is what I find left of the swine apple. Apparently, it's really super good, isn't it, Indy? Is that swine apple really good? Well, so much for daddy taste testing it. I guess it's boxer approved. So, I go upstairs again, and about a minute, I come back downstairs, and remember, there was a pineapple here. Gee, talk about savory food that the two boxer girls, man oh man, did they have a good dinner. So guys, as you saw, I didn't get a taste of swine apple, so I have no idea what it tastes like, but fortunately, there's still two more pineapples in the grill. Okay, so I might be able to taste some. But in regards to the dogs, you know, they're like my kids. I have three daughters. I have one two-legged daughter, which you guys all know as a little coffee bean. And I've got the two other daughters, my four-legged one, Indy and Liberty. Well, Indy and Liberty, they had a magnificent dinner because there's no pineapple left, okay? Well, I did actually find it outside next to the Traeger of all places. And what I found was the actual stem left of the pineapple. So they did not eat that. So you guys don't have to worry about them eating something that might have hurt them. As far as the, the pork and the pineapple, man, they went to town on that thing. Well, at least I'm glad somebody liked it. Well, stay tuned and maybe I'll have a follow-up for the chicken apple and the cow apple. Unless they get a hold of that too. Well, thanks for watching.